Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Punk Rock Review, home of a bunch of opinionated crap you don't care about, also the home of the feedback we provide that we don't care about, keeps us on an even playing field, and we like that. Real quick shout out to our sponsor, Tech Industries, if you ever need to have someone show up to your place of business, leave a bunch of dead fish guts and, uh, you know, rotten eggs laying around, go ahead, call Tech Industries, they'll squirt away for you, the place will be stinking in no time. Anyhow, moving straight into it today, today we're going to be talking about a game that was ported over to the Nintendo Switch. Where was it ported from? Uh, you know, one of the earlier console iterations, man, uh, you know, do we know for sure? Nah, not really. Uh, should we? Probably, but we don't do research. That's your job, but moving straight into it, today we're going to be chatting about a game, uh, man, that, uh, finally, finally, like, we'd seen it in stores, man, and we'd been wanting to pick it up and wanting to pick it up, but thanks to our sponsor, uh, we were actually able to check it out, so... Uh, Big Al's Fun Game Land. Thank you for sponsoring us. And today we're going to be chatting about Bayonetta 2. So, have we completed the game? No. Do we want to talk about it even though we haven't completed the game? Yes, for a couple reasons. So, uh, you know, hate doing overall reviews, so that's not what this is. This is going to be a chat, not a review, but it's a review chat. So it's a chat review, or whatever it is. You know, I don't know. It's Bayonetta 2 we're chatting about. So, Bayonetta 2, man, had seen it in stores multiple, multiple, multiple times, and we're always like, okay, yeah, man, let's check it out. We had dabbled with the first one way back in the day, uh, and, you know, we're like, should we pick it up? And it's like, nah, it's a port, man. We're not going to really enjoy it, you know. Uh, it's kind of like that, uh, you know, kind of almost button mashing, uh, you know, type, uh, type of gameplay. And, you know, now nah, we'll skip it over, we'll skip it over. And we always got something else or went a different route and things like that. Well, big gay, big, uh, big, uh, you know, regret on our part because not only is this a solid port, uh, but it's a solid game for what it is. Like, you know, is the dialogue wonky? Yes. Is the dialogue good? Yes. It's good, wonky dialogue. Like, you know, everything about it screams retro old school, like mechanics and, uh, you know, story and things like that, but, like, progressive old school. Uh, so, you know, not, not early on stuff like Pac-Man and Donkey Kong, uh, but latter, like, early on stuff, man. It's somewhere in that, like, gracious middle period. Like, it's got some solid dialogue to it. Is it perfect? No, but that's what's kind of so good about it, uh, is that it's got some, like, wonkiness to it, and, you know, we're all about that. Uh, Gameplay-wise, all right, this is gonna hold a lot of people back. But if you get into this game and you do not complete the first couple, you know, at least 30 minutes to an hour of gameplay in this game and actually get to where you open up the world, uh, if you have just a taste of it at the beginning and you're like, eh, eh this game's, you know, and really not that great. If you do not progress and get past the first part, then it's not that great. Early on, the first, uh, you know what, like uh, two, three missions until you like open up the world really aren't that impressive. Like, you know, it's got some good graphics to it, uh, you know, for what it is. Uh, and you might enjoy that, but overall you'd be like, yeah. It's not until you actually open up the world and actually get to start going out and doing stuff uh, where this game really starts to shine. Now, is there any drawbacks to this game on the Nintendo Switch? Yes. What are those drawbacks to the Nintendo Nintendo Switch. Well, something that we always, uh, you know, had kind of told ourselves we're not going to do is go out and just pick up the Pro Controller in order to buy, uh, you know, uh, a Pro Controller and have it for games. Do you need a Pro Controller with Bayonetta 2? This is one of the first times that we would actually say yes on the Nintendo Switch. Like, playing on the Joy-Cons just does not uh, feel correct uh, for the type of game that it is. It's so action-paced, uh, that, you know, you really, really need to have, uh, you know, a solid core, you know, peripheral to be playing the game on, and the Joy-Cons do not do it justice, and that's sad, uh, because, you know, everything, uh, that this game offers is so great, so great, but people without the Pro Controller, so Nintendo, where's our free Pro Controller? <sighs> Uh, you know, it it's really makes it harder to enjoy a great experience, and it only becomes a great experience after those first, you know, hour or so of gameplay. You gotta get through that. 
to get to the good stuff. Uh, but yeah, aside from uh, recommending a pro controller with it and getting through the first part, uh, you know, yeah, we're still continually, uh, you know, checking it out. You know, we plan on, uh, you know, going through it and, you know, seeing what's up. But uh, it's got some real solid stuff to it. Uh, graphically, it will impress in areas and maybe let down in a couple others. Like, you know, the little city areas are kind of flat. But a lot of other, uh, you know, the battles and stuff like that, uh, it's like playing a, uh, you know, uh, uh, anime, uh, which is pretty insane, uh, but yeah, they, they knock that out of the park, uh, they do really, really well with it. Anyhow, uh, where are we at? Bayonetta 2, Nintendo Switch, huh? What do we think of you? Well, I think you should get a, uh, what? A P G. And a check. Check it out. It's pretty good. You should play it. Or maybe you shouldn't. Maybe you don't like, uh, you know, the type of, uh, you know, game that it is. But you should. Especially after the first part of it. Anyhow, have a good one. You probably didn't catch it next time. Probably won't.